Hey everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, iPad Management 101. My name is Vasco Karofsky, and I'm one of three systems engineers covering the Australia and New Zealand region, based out of our Sydney office, or actually working from home like many of you out there. So let's start with a quick look at the agenda. First, we're gonna talk about at a high level who Jamf is and what we do. Then we'll take a bit of a dive into different Apple programs and services that are available to IT to help with Apple deployments. After that, we'll take a look at the management lifecycle of Apple devices with Jamf. And then finally, we'll briefly touch on some common iOS deployment methods out there. And then we'll end with some next steps and Q&A. Okay, so let's get started with a little bit about Jamf. At Jamf, we help organizations succeed with Apple. And our singular focus on Apple allows us to provide best in class products to help you protect your Apple endpoints, manage your Apple ecosystem, and connect your Apple users with enterprise resources. Now let's take a look at Apple's programs and services which will support you as an IT administrator. And firstly, looking at Apple's push notification service, or APNS for short, that is underpinning all of this technology. APNS works by first providing an introduction between your Jamf server and your Apple device. And once that trust is established, Jamf can then communicate with your devices to manage settings, deploy apps, and also deploy remote commands using Apple's mobile device management framework, or MDM for short. MDM is Apple's built-in framework for managing their products. You build profiles which will tell your devices the apps and settings they're supposed to have. Now these profiles use Apple's push notification service to get to your managed devices, and you can build these profiles which are simply XML files right inside of your Jamf Pro and school consoles. Apple has this framework in place and Jamf leverages it to make your Apple device management work, but there's a bit more to the puzzle to unlock all the features Apple has to offer. One of them is Apple School Manager, which is a conduit which connects institutionally owned Apple devices and app purchases directly to your Jamf MDM console. It is also the tool which unlocks zero touch enrollment workflows and allows for apps to be distributed over the air without even using an Apple ID. It also allows for a student information system integration and for the ability to, to manage and create classes which are then used in the schoolwork or slash schoolwork application, classroom app, and also used within shared iPad deployments. So let's take a quick look inside of Apple School Manager. First up, accounts, where you would create your manage Apple IDs for IT and for students. And this really benefits students that are younger than 14 years old and can't legally create a, an Apple ID. Roles, where you will delegate responsibilities to different team members, such as a, an administrator who can do it all within Apple School Manager or a content manager who is only able to procure applications. Classes where you can import your classes for use within the Apple Classroom and shared iPads. Next is the Apps and Books section, formerly known as uh, VPP or Volume Purchase Program. And this is where you would manage your apps and book licenses. You can download a token here, which will link your procured apps to your Jamf Pro or Jamf School server. Devices, uh, you can get a view of all of your purchased institutionally owned Apple devices and then assign them to an MDM server. And then finally, your MDM service. You can add your Jamf Pro or Jamf School server here and then you'll grab a token uh, to enable automated enrollment for your Jamf MDM server. After uploading the volume purchasing or the MDM server tokens, you'll see this detail populate right inside of your Jamf Pro server. Apps and books listing out all your available app licenses. And then devices listing out all your devices available for auto enrollment, which we will touch on in a moment. Not specifically an Apple program, but in an important mode that is available in Apple's operating systems, which is supervision. Supervision is a mode that once it activated, it enables a deeper level of management within the operating system. Now we've seen over the years that Apple has shifted a lot more of its configurations to require supervision. And if you're dealing with institutionally owned devices, 
best practice is to enable supervision mode on your iOS and iPad OS devices. And here are some examples of configurations available on iOS devices when supervision isn't enabled. For example, the ability to disable FaceTime, iMessage, and AirDrop. Disabling the App Store, so then you, the admin, can define what apps are on the device, or opening up self-service, which I'll also get into in a moment, um, which can be a library of your own procured apps that your end users are only allowed to install. Disabling removing apps, which is extremely useful uh, when dealing with those younger students who may accidentally delete an application. Or restricting the erase all content and settings feature that can stop your end users from doing a factory wipe on a device. Setting a home screen layout and remote commands like wallpaper, bypass activation lock and loss mode if you are ever in that dreadful scenario of an iPad going walkabouts. To enable supervision, this needs to be enabled prior to the setup of a device. Supervision can be enabled automatically when an iPad is enrolled using Apple School Manager and automated enrollment. Now this is done over the year during the enrollment phase, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. You can also enable supervision using the Apple Configurator app, and this is done over a wired connection. However, a device enrolled in any other method such as user enrollment cannot put the device into a supervised state. So this means for any device in use or enrolled for management will need to be wiped and re-enrolled in order to supervise the device. That's essentially the Apple programs you'll leverage alongside Jamf and will integrate seamlessly with all of Apple's programs. Apple's APNS server, which establishes the trust between Jamf and your Apple clients, mobile device management from Apple, that provides a built-in management framework that enables Jamf to manage settings for macOS, iOS, and tvOS, and then Apple School Manager that has these three core services that Jamf can utilize, automated device enrollment, volume purchasing of apps and books, and manage Apple IDs. Next up, let's talk over the lifecycle management of Apple devices. We'll use this workflow to do it, and we'll start by deploying devices, configuring them, getting the right apps to them, gathering inventory data, ensuring they're secure, and providing our users a unique way to get apps and settings they need without involving IT. We'll start off with zero touch deployments and let's take the role of an end user and see how this all goes. So here we have a new iPad set up. We'll go in, open it up, select the language, select the country we're in, select the Wi-Fi, and then enter in the password. Once this is done, it will communicate back with Apple's activation service to see if this iPad already belongs to an individual or an organization. And in this case, we're flagged with the remote management screen, which shows that this iPad belongs to Jamf. Or in your case, it will show your institution name there. We're going to hit next, and then it's going to start configuring the iPad with the settings that we as IT have defined. You can now skip this step. But I always like to have location services enabled at the start, just so then it's available for all my apps when a user is using it. So now, here, are, here is the iPad all set up and configured with the settings that I have defined, like arranging the home screen, hiding unnecessary apps, setting a wallpaper, and also deploying apps as we speak. Going into the settings of the device, we can now see that the MDM profile has been automatically applied. The device is supervised, and the feature of using the automated enrollment is that the MDM profile cannot be removed from this device. Other options to enroll an iOS device into Jamf is using an app which you can download from the App Store called Apple Configurator, which will allow you to reset, supervise, and deploy configurations while having to plug in a device into the Mac with a lightning cable. You can do a over the air enrollment using user initiated enrollment where you would share a URL with your end users to enroll their device into a Jamf MDM. And the recommended way, or in my opinion, the easiest way to enroll an Apple device into an MDM is using Apple automated enrollment. Now let's get into device configuration. 
Leveraging Apple's MDM framework, and there's a lot of options here, Jamf can use all the settings listed to remotely configure a device with any relevant restrictions and settings required by your school. From where you can enforce passcodes, restrictions, or Wi-Fi settings, and with accounts, you can pre-populate email, calendars, and much more. Under security, you can push out certificates and enforce content filters. And in advance, you can get a lot more control like configuring the home screen layout and even setting a lock screen message. We're deployed and now configured, but do we have all the right apps? And let's make sure. If we're leveraging App Store apps, we can use Apple School Manager to buy all the necessary app licenses. In this case, we're getting 100 licenses of Keynote, and that's a free app, but we still need to procure the licenses so then we can deploy it via an MDM. Now, those licenses are then read by Jamf Pro or Jamf School, and I'll use Jamf Pro uh, to scope those, uh, those, those to a specific device or groups of devices that get that app. Then, via the MDM framework, those apps are installed over the air. Really nice and easy, and best of all, the user does not need an Apple ID for all of this to work. A little bit of a bonus here, and you can also schedule updates that happen automatically and also at a specific time. So we deployed the devices, configured them, got some apps. Now let's gather some inventory data and make our lives a lot easier with some automations in place. Out of the box, Jamf collects a wide range of inventory data. And here are some examples that you can see, like the device name, the IP address, iOS version, serial number, the model of the device, and what apps are installed. And then once integrated with an LDAP service or a cloud identity provider like Azure, you can automatically populate information that can identify who has which device. And then from there, all of this data, we can build various groups. At Jamf, we have two ways of creating groups. Static groups, where you can manually add devices to a group, and our patent smart groups, where you can specify a criteria uh, for your group, and then Jamf will automatically go and find the devices that fit that criteria. For example, let's just say we want to identify some iOS devices to update to iPad OS 14. We'll start by defining the smart group criteria to identify all iPads that have more than 50% battery level with more than 10% capacity of storage available and are running iOS 13. Jamf will then automatically find those devices and then we can push out an MDM command to download and install the latest version of iPad OS. Next for some security controls. On the iOS side, you have access to a number of remote commands such as clearing the passcode, which is handy if a student has forgotten their passcode, setting a wallpaper, enabling lost mode, which once again is in the scenario of an iOS device going missing, extremely handy, restart or shut down a device, plus there's much more cellular commands like enable, disable voice roaming, enable, disable data roaming, enable, disable personal hotspots, and refresh cellular plans. Finally, let's talk about Jamf self-service app. Self-service is your end user portal that can be populated by IT for IT approved resources that students and teachers can get with just a click. Easily install applications, set up printers, configure email and VPN settings, and notify your users about software updates and customize the app to be branded for your school logos. Let's have a look at what this could look like with your end users. Here we have that iPad that we set up at earlier on, and we're going to click on, on this self-service app. Here you can see that we have self-service branded with our school logo and populated with all of the apps from our school Apple School Manager instance. I'm gonna go and click on explain everything and you can see the icon and all of the information that was actually imported automatically from the app store. And I'm just gonna hit install. And then you should see that I've got uh, explain everything installed on my iPad and everything is ready to go. As a bonus, uh, we'll now take a look at common iOS deployment methods. Choosing whether a one-to-one -one or a shared technology program is right for you depends on many factors, including your school's goals, 
student population, and of course, budget. Apple School Manager and MDM allow you to set up iPad devices for shared use. The shared iPad model is ideal when a one-to-one -one iPad ratio is impossible and schools are scaling their iPad deployments, but still want to offer the students the best ecosystem education has to offer. No matter which path you choose, Apple has made it easier than ever to accommodate your needs. Through a one-to-one -one program, students are given their own iPad and allowed to utilize it for learning during and outside of school hours, creating a continuous learning environment where students can access materials at any time. iPad can be tailored to each student's individual needs and class load, allowing for the most personalized, rich educational experience a student can have. Plus, when provided their own device, students are given a larger sense of ownership and accountability over their educational tools. Schools that use Apple School Manager have the option to create a personalized shared iPad experience for all students. Shared iPad allows students to have a continuous learning experience from class to class and day to day, picking up exactly where they left off. This personalized iPad experience allows students to pick up any shared iPad and simply click on their photo to log in. Students then gain access to all of their learning resources that the school deems applicable for their specific learning needs. And once the lesson is through, students will simply log out and the iPad is ready for the next student to use in a similar yet customized experience. Now let's do a quick recap of some of the points we covered off today. Management is made possible by using either Jamf School, the flagship MDM product for education, or Jamf Pro if you're a larger school or university and require an enterprise-grade MDM tool. Regardless of which you choose, both will help IT and educators spend less time managing technology and more time investing in their classrooms. To date, Jamf helps more than 40,000 organizations manage 18 million plus Apple devices and counting. When organizations need the world leader in Apple management, they turn to Jamf, the world's largest K-12 primary and secondary schools, and the best universities around the globe choose Jamf for Apple management. And finally, we have an exclusive focus on Apple and a history of providing same-day support for their new operating systems and services. And this ensures end users can take advantage of new Apple capabilities the day that are, they're available. And here you can see our track record. Jamf offers additional support to help you be successful as well. Our professional services can offer remote engagements to customize Jamf products for your environment. We also offer certification courses led by our training team to become an expert in Jamf Pro and help widen your skill sets. And finally, we have a world-class support from Apple experts around the globe. We can even help 24-7 via our premium support packages. And speaking of world-class support, of course, we're nothing without our customers. And that is proven with the GF Nation community. This online forum is home to over 100,000 Apple IT-focused individuals that learn from each other, discuss best practices, and have access to a wealth of resources and third-party tools. Create a free account today and join in on the discussion. You can get more information about mobile device management from our Mobile Device Management 101 ebook, which I will post the link in the chat section. Also via our training portal, you have access to the free Jamf 100 course that you can take at your own leisure. I'll also post a link to this in the chat. So with that, thank you very much for your time today as we covered iPad Management 101 getting started.